Okay. Okay, here. Now we are here in front of reception. You can walk below this line to see all the information inside. Okay. Start from the room point, and then we go to the main area this here. way. Oh. And at that say, you can uh, contact our staff to get the audio guide. Just uh, it's, it's free of charge too. Uh, just leave at your passport or any uh, ID card for the visit. Okay. okay. You can walk further to the long walk too. If you want to go there, please contact our staff down there. We will give you walkie-talkie for your safety. Ah, okay. okay and Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. striking when they say uncle, friend, nephew, mate, brother, husband. <sighs> the, the constant ticking on the stones. The Hellfire Pass Memorial Museum and the preservation of Hellfire Pass itself had its origins in 1983 when a former Australian POW toured the area in Thailand. He convinced the Australian government that portions of the dead railway should be preserved as an historical site. Built in 1990 and renovated in 2018, the Hellfire Interpretive Center provides informations and exhibits about the construction of the dead railway and the suffering and sacrifices during this period. It is possible to walk through the cutting itself and along a section of the former railway track bed. There is also an audio tour available, including recorded memories of surviving POWs. The Dead Railway, also known as a Thai Burma Railway, was a 450 km railway line constructed during World War II by Allied prisoners of war and forced laborers under the orders of the Japanese Imperial Army. The railway was built to connect Thailand and Burma and was used to transport Japanese troops and supplies to the Burma front. The build started in June 42 and was completed in October 43. At least 90,000 laborers and more than 12,000 prisoners of war were killed during the construction of the railway.
Hellfire Pass or the Kanyu Cutting was an extremely difficult section of the line to build. It was the largest cutting on the railway. Despite all the hard work of the Japanese engineers and the prisoners, progress on the railway soon fell behind schedule. In response, the Japanese initiated the infamous Speedo period. This took place between July and October 43, during which the conditions of the workers rapidly deteriorated even further. The Japanese guards would be heard aggressively screaming Speedo! Speedo! at the prisoners. It earned the name Hellfire Pass due to the dreadful conditions the men had to endure while working. During this speedo period, the prisoners working on this section of the railway were forced to work around the clock in shifts of 18 hours a day with little rest or food. The sight of the exhausted and undernourished prisoners working by the light of torches and oil lamps resembled a scene from hell. If your plan is to only visit the memorial at the end of the Hellfire Pass or Kanyu Cutting, then it is a 20 minute walk from the end of the museum. But if you want to do the entire walking trail like we did, you will need an extra 3 hours. The length of the trail is 3 kilometers and you have to come back the same way. You can also ask your driver or taxi to pick you up at the end of the trail if 6 kilometers is too far for you to walk. Make sure to wear proper shoes because once you pass the memorial, the trail becomes rough and more challenging. Also take enough water with you to prevent dehydration. If you are planning to walk the whole trail, then the center will provide you with a walkie-talkie for your safety. They will check with you on a regular basis. I can highly recommend using the audio tape available at the center so you can listen to all the stories and memories of the surviving POWs during your walk. At times, I had to stop walking to let the story sink in. As we were walking, I noticed how hot it was. We had decent clothes and sunscreen for our protection. The prisoners had to endure the sun, the heat, the pouring rain during monsoon season, the insects, all while working and being mistreated by their guards. <laughs> 